The Super Facehugger, otherwise known as a Royal Facehugger or a Queen Facehugger, is a unique breed of facehugger that is capable of implanting the embryo of an alien queen into its host, and also believed to have the ability to deliver one or more xenomorph impregnations into multiple hosts in addition to the queen embryo, so that a standard warrior alien can also be born and serve as sort of a guard to the gestating queen, as the gestation process for a queen xenomorph occurs over a significantly longer period than that of a normal xenomorph. The Super Facehuggers are distinguished by being quite a bit larger in size, darker in color, with webbed digits. The Super Facehugger is likely more agile and generally stronger than the standard Facehugger with a special plate of armor covering itself as well as a bladed tail to help them protect the unborn queen seed they carry inside, to ensure a successful host is found and ensuring the survival of the species. In some depictions, the Super Facehugger even has an inner jaw, much like the fully developed adult alien drone, suggesting further need for defense and attack abilities. In the assembly cut of Alien 3, we actually see a quick glimpse of the Super Facehugger when Murphy finds its lifeless body inside the abattoir, after having successfully impregnated both the Ox with the Runner alien and Ripley with the Alien Queen. While we can confirm only one alien egg was at least seen aboard the Sulaco before the EEV crash landed on Fury 161, that would be all that's needed given the Hugger's unique ability to implant multiple embryos. It's also theorized that in extreme cases, such as when an alien colony is on the brink of extinction or just within the beginning stages, a standard facehugger can also implant a queen embryo, which may explain why the facehugger that attacked Newt's father in Haley's Hope has no distinguishing features that suggest it's a royal hugger, if indeed he hosted the alien queen, but that may be up for debate also. Do you agree with this theory, and do you think Newt's father was the host of the Alien Queen in Hadley's Hope? Or do you think that quote-unquote honor went to a different colonist via a super hugger? Comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please like this video to support the channel, and subscribe for more videos like this. If there's an Alien Universe topic you'd like to see covered here, please let me know. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.